Hello everybody, welcome to episode 8 of my Road to 400% Trading Journal. This video is going to be covering the Ranger version 3. So I just released this version last week and we had some really good results this week. And I'm going to be covering the trades that happened, the profit that was taken, and also the changes in version 3 and uh, how much extra profit that's going to give us every single month and week as well. Uh, so, the well, first thing I wanted to cover here are the stats, and the stats are 39% profit on this account that's been going since January of, uh, of 2020. We have a couple of trades, a few trades that are in at 2.87% drawdown. Uh, the monthly profit or the weekly profit for this week was 1.82% at 182 pips, 71% win rate, and 14 trades overall. So this is the Trader's Way account, and I also have my live account that's on over just over 9%. And this one uh, had a really good profitable week as well. I'm trading the same strategy at 1.77% profit, 174 pips uh, total, and a 14 trade, 14 trades overall as well. Uh, so we have the uh, few trades in on the Aussie CAD and one on the pound Canadian dollar, as uh, showing at 3.05% uh, drawdown. So the drawdown is really quite low, very manageable, um, and overall version three point uh, version three of the Ranger algorithm is looking really strong. So you can actually even see uh, the price or the, the profit difference here. There's like a little uptick that happened uh, at the end of last week, uh, showing us that we had a really big closeout of, of, of trade profit. Uh, and that happened on, on the Aussie CAD. So these uh, five trades or four trades that you see right here. So this is one right here, two, three, and four. Uh, so those were four trades closed out for profit right in this area right before the launch back up uh, so those were sell positions or short positions and when they closed out we closed out for 50 pips profit total uh, which is quite a bit different than the previous Ranger EA version uh, 2 and version 2.3 which only closed out 30 pips profit um, on this given pair so this is the Aussie CAD so version 3 is basically an improvement we have removed the New Zealand Canadian dollar from the trading uh, from the pairs that we trade and we're only now trading that the pound Canadian dollar and the Aussie CAD so I'm gonna get more into the trades um, and what profit was taken here in just a second but I want to show you the difference of the two um, the two versions so this is version 2 uh, with the pound Canadian dollar uh, this is a back test running for 10 years and it shows you that the pound Canadian dollar was a thousand dollars deposit uh, was turned into 159,796 within a 10 year period. So that's really quite good and that was version 2 and 2.3. Uh, so this is the Aussie CAD, so this is 35% drawdown uh, taking a 1000 account uh, to 14,000 over a 10 year period of time on an every tick. 90% modeling quality back test. Um, so that was version 2 and version 2.3 of the Ranger EA. So what about version th 3? So this is the latest one that was released last week and I did 99.9% .9 modeling quality back test on this one, which is the highest that you can possibly do. Very accurate uh, and shows you a really good simulation of what to expect with this, with this algorithm over the long term. Now it's not exactly going to show you every single penny of profit, but it's going to give you a really good idea because the modeling quality of the data that was used is so high uh, and accurate. Okay, so you can see here, you can check this out. This is also public, you can, you can view this yourself. So this is the pound Canadian dollar and a thousand dollar account is taking to, has been taking to uh, 39,000 on this account over a 10 year period of time. Um, so you might be thinking, whoa, that's a big difference from version two, which was 159,000. So why is version three less profitable on the pound Canadian dollar and the drawdowns around the same? It's because the tick data test or the modeling quality that I used for my data uh, for these latest tests was a lot more accurate showing some potential problem areas uh, in 2014 and also in 2020. A couple of times that I saw some areas uh, that was a little bit weak and decided to strengthen the, the strategy and so I decided to take some of the profit away from the pound Canadian dollar and put it into the Aussie CAD. The Aussie CAD has been pushed um, the, the risk has been pushed up quite a lot uh, to take advantage of this pair in its fullest. And so a $1,000 account on this one is being taken to over 1 million 
in a 10 year period of time. You can see this test. You can see that we have even a 23% month in 2018, have a 19 and 8, 15% month in uh, 2019 and a couple 10 percent months in 2020 so we were able to push the strategy a lot more and it can really have some big profiting months um, because of how it's been modified so this is a huge huge upgrade in version 3 and it shows that the, the Aussie CAD is our big uh, trading pair and we can come out with a lot a lot of profit on that um, in the past and also potentially in the future as well so you may be wondering, what about the 53% drawdown on the pound Canadian dollar and the Aussie to CAD 55% drawdown? Uh, this is something that I've been getting questions regarding. Um, like, what happens if both of these two pairs run into the same highest drawdown at the same exact time? Because this 55% drawdown was only hit once on the pound Canadian dollar, and this 53% drawdown was only hit once on the pound Canadian dollar. Uh, in the same time, that time that each of them hit their highest drawdown was not at the same time. I went through all the complete 2000 or 10 to 2020, so the 10-year back test on both pairs, to see if the drawdown ever collided together. There was one point in uh, late 2019, I think it was July and August, um, that the drawdown combined reached a roughly around 40 to 50 percent drawdown at its maximum during the course of that 10-year backtest. So that means that you don't have to worry about both of these two pairs running into drawdown at the same time and the biggest reason for that is because they uh, have very very different settings and obviously the different behavior because uh, there were there were two different completely pair, uh, completely different pairs. So we do share the, the same Canadian dollar currency but the Aussie CAD and the pound act very differently and the settings from on the EA are also very different with those two pairs. So the chances of hitting really big drawdown above 50% uh, on both pairs at the same time is very unlikely but this is trading and anything can happen but the chances are slim. Okay, So I just wanted to keep that, um, let everybody know how that will work in the future and also in the past. Okay, so. Uh, let's show you what the charts look like with the current open trades. So I already talked about this basket of trades being closed out for profit last week, which actually was about uh, just over 1% profit uh, with this, these four trades that were closed out, which is really awesome. Okay, so these ones that are currently in, so that we have one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five trades there. And th one of the reasons that the Aussie Cat pair is so profitable is because we use a low risk martingale. I know that martingale is, sounds like a dangerous thing and because it's used for gambling uh, but if you have a semi martingale type of risk management which is a lower martingale type of uh, progression then you are at much lower risk of having issues when it comes to money management and trading. Uh, so the first one is 0 0.2 lots, 0 0.2 lots, 0 0.2 lots in the third trade and then the fourth trade that's when we increase. So it's a um, after a few trades, that, that's when we start increasing the lot size a little bit. But what that gives us is once the market decides to come back down and have its pullback, like it did at this, uh, at this, in this area uh, previously, then we'll come out with quite a lot of profit because not only just the 50 pips that we cl close out from the total of all these trades, but because we have a little higher risk on these top two orders, we're going to come out with more than just 50, uh, 50 pips profit because the 50 pips profit would have been really nice if we had the same risk on each trade of 0.22 lots. But because we have the higher lots, lots on the top orders, that means that we're going to be getting quite a bit more profit when it comes to the percent gain on the actual account because of the increased risk on the top two orders. Okay, so the uh, so those trades we'll have to wait and see what they hap what happens with them next week if they close out for profit I think they probably will well, but we'll see could extend could go down we'll wait and see all right so the uh, the pound Canadian dollar so we had a couple of trades um, lingering from last week this was one at the end of last week uh, it was a buy trade looking for the market to push up didn't happen uh, the Sunday opened for last week on the 24th. And another trade was entered, so that was trade two, and then trade three. All trades closed out for initial uh, for a realized profit of 30 pips, right there. 
Okay. All right. Four more uh, short positions. All closed out for profit here. So we've got that pullback. Initial bounce up and then pull back down. Close, close for profit. Again, another 30 pips. All right. Another 30, actually 35 pips on this. So at trade one and trade two. Close out for profit right there right before the launch back up and that's what's so nice about the the ranger algorithm is that it's able to find those areas that there is potential for a pullback to happen and if we don't get the pullback right away we enter a couple more trades as you can see here two and three and four and then the pullback happened the pullback happened in here the pullback happened uh, a couple weeks ago here we entered trade one didn't happen didn't happen didn't happen and then finally it fell back down all right so that's what the ranger is uh, is so great at is finding those areas it's not it's, and you can't always get the perfect entry on the very first order but that's why we are able to re-enter to make that first trade better by coming out with some initial profit after a few more orders all right so the current trade that we're in right now uh, this one is uh, was entered right near the top of this uh, this resistance and we're right at 1.75 so I would imagine that there's going to be a little indecision up here and potential shoot up or a shoot down at that point so and we'll have to wait and see how the markets opened up next next week all right uh, I guess that's only tomorrow at this point all right so that's what I wanted to go over on we actually we had just had one extra trade on the Aussie CAD this one was lingered from previous uh, last week as well markets opened up and shot back up and we were able to take uh, 30 pips profit since we were still using version 2.3 of the Ranger EA. All right, so I want to show you guys a little bit of uh, what to expect with the Ranger EA in general. So this is kind of what I'm doing with my stats and my progression using this algorithm. Uh, so this is a, a um, Excel sheet that a member of uh, of the Ranger, uh, our, our user is actually uh, using the Ranger and they decided to put this together. Um, and this is the Ranger version 2 and this is from 2017, 2018, 2019 and 2020. So this was version 2 and pulling all the data from the three traded pairs and putting them, pulling them together to see what the overall profit would be for that month using a $10,000 account balance. So it's a $10,000 account balance and you can see that in January of 2017 we had almost 5%, February about 6%, um, March we had about se almost 7% and so on and so forth. And you can see that we had almost 90% gain for that year, 77% uh, gain for that year and a 76% gain for uh, 2019 and then 3.3% uh, or 33% for 2020 at that point. So that was the Ranger version 2 and this is the upgraded so this is version 3 using just two pairs now 2017 8% 5% 9.6% 8% so you can see that the month profits are actually quite a bit larger and you can expect more profit or uh, pot profit potential using version 3 so 120% 165% 144% and then so far for this year 6% so you can see that there's a pretty big difference between version 3 and version 2 and I'm pretty excited about that and um, I hope that it, things continue to go well. Uh, so the last thing I wanted to cover in this video is showing you guys what my progression is going to be looking like using the Ranger algorithm version 3. So I started this video series saying that I was going to work with the Ranger EA and also make a monthly deposit of $200 uh, to help compound the profit of this particular account, so the 9.616% uh, account. So we're at a profit of $109, and currently the balance is $1,310. So I'm going to be adding an additional uh, $200, and I've already added $200 to this account already. That's why it's at $1,300. And so next week, it's going to be at $1,500. And what I'm doing here is I am growing wealth. I am combining trading with saving savings so the I'm pulling the two together um, to to help grow wealth even faster um, and this is a strategy to uh, safely grow a trading account and add savings to it to help with the compounding in a better safe way because so many people with small accounts try to grow accounts way too fast by increasing the profit or using too much risk and so they risk blowing a thousand dollars instead of slowly building it and so what that looks like is 
and I'm going to show you right now, a $1,000 account balance with an 8% monthly interest rate. So that's the average that you'll be getting um, using the Ranger version 3 over a 12-month period of time with an additional 200-month uh, deposit. This is what the total looks like after a year, 12 months. And so, so that's a $6,612 uh, gain using the, eight, the monthly average with the Ranger version 3. And so this is a 600% increase in wealth at that point and I can't say this is a 600% profit because this is also including the profit from the algorithm and the initial or the, the increased $200 or the additional $200 deposit that's being added to the account on a monthly basis as well but this is a pretty big deal a thousand dollar starting balance growing to two, six point uh, six thousand six hundred uh, using this combination shows a pretty fast growth in wealth over just 12 months of time. So what about 24 months of time? So we'll, let's see the, how this whole strategy can work over a two year period of time. So that is a $1,000 balance growing to 20,000 by that time. So initial balance, total monthly deposits of $4,800 over a two year period of time. That's an additional $200 a month. And the crazy thing is that a lot of people out there have a $200 a month phone bill. Um, and so you know that's why I landed on $200 as as a an add-on uh, or an additional deposit uh, because I felt like it was on the higher side, but it's still manageable for a lot of people when it comes to saving uh, saving money. And so we have $4,800. That's that's the actual monthly deposits. But look what that does to the final investment value of it ups it by to to 20,000 just by adding those that savings on a monthly basis. So this is what I'm trying to help you guys with, is showing you how to grow a small account into something big by using this combination, okay? And doing it in a, a, the safest way possible by using the Ranger algorithm, which has a 10-year track record um, of profitable trading history, okay? So that's pretty much it for this, this video. I hope, you got, hope to see you guys on episode 9. And I don't know how long I'm going to keep going with this series, but we'll see. All right, see you next time.